Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. So in this video we're actually going to go over constructors. Um, we've seen them before when creating our objects so but we're actually going to go over them now. So let's uh, let's take care of some of this white space and we have our class car. Um, let's go ahead and create an object. Um, call it car again equals new. All right, so you'll see that there's nothing in here. We haven't actually created our own constructor, and that's because C Sharp is cool enough to create one for us if there's not one actually defined. So um, we're actually going to go ahead and define it now. So we go into our class, and it's essentially just saying public car. And there you go. That's our constructor. Um, let's say we had um, a property here, and we could call it um, name. All right. All right. So we have our property called name, and we want to, what we could do with this constructor is we could actually um, make sure that a name is already defined um, when it's created. So what we could do in here is actually, well, we'll do it in here. So we just say string and name. The name property equals name and there you go and we can pass in um, I don't know um, my first car and then we can console dot right line car dot name so this way it's already defined and we already know what's going on. So let's take a look. We'll run this and we'll see what we get. Boom, my first car. So that is essentially what a constructor can do for us. Um, when we create our class, um, we can actually already uh, predefine some of these uh, properties or we can force it to define properties because that's the beauty of a of actually passing parameters through the constructor is because there's no way um, you can create a car object and have name be null. So this is a good option if you have properties that you know for sure need to be created if you're going to make um, or properties that need to have values if you're going to create um, a class. So, um, if you have any questions about this, go ahead and let me know. Um, this is a basic introduction for constructors. There's not really too much to constructors. Uh, there's a couple of things you can, you can do with them, um, but for the most part, this is what you'll see 90% of constructors actually used for is passing parameters and assigning values. So again, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.